<laughs> Kama kuna kitu ungependa kuuliza, ingekuwa mzuri niulize kwa kina gadanga wewe mwenyewe. An unusual dare from a man well known for his reclusive nature. Never mind the never seen before hearty laugh. <laughs> It's almost your new Muhammad Hussein Ali, laughing, smiling, relaxed, and opening up to journalists. Apparently, his demeanor transformed by freedom. I think it's a just decision, and I think it's a correct decision, and I think it's a decision that vindicates me. A decision he attributes to the facts adduced in court by his lawyers. How did he take it then? It's expected. Ali spoke for the first time since being named as a suspect and subsequently being cleared of crimes against humanity. He is a man who always shied away from the media, but apparently to him that was not the case. First of all, I, don't, I did not avoid the media. As a matter of fact, I have no reason to avoid anybody at all. Uh, it presupposes, of course, from a normal walk of life that a fellow who avoids people has something to hide. His feelings on the whole issue remained anyone's guess for such a long time. How did it weigh on his emotions? It is not a matter that I would wish on anybody else myself uh, on the basis that it is one that you would rather not go through. The former police commissioner refused to be drawn into responding to Ocampo's remarks that he will be carrying out more investigations that could lead to another confirmation of charges hearing. I'm not here on a mission for speculation, to hypothesize as it were on matters and events that did or did not occur. That's neither here nor there. While he wishes the four committed to trial the best of luck, he also says he craves for justice to be done based on facts and sympathizes with victims, including IDPs. But the former police commissioner has no regrets about his stint in office at Vigilance House. So does that mean he can take the job again if offered the post of the Inspector General of Police? Hussein Mohammed, Citizen Live at 9.